guys. So the other day I had a little girls day, girls afternoon with my girlfriends. We went to King of Prussia Mall, which is one of my, well probably, well, it's a close, it's close to Short Hills Mall, but one of the best malls in my opinion. And I got some things here that I want to share with you. A lot of these things, mostly all these things were unplanned, but I feel like that's always when you do best, when you're just going to a shop and not really have anything in mind. So I have some sunglasses, some makeup, another cardigan, and some new shoes. So I guess we'll start with the not so exciting stuff at Sephora. It's still exciting, but I needed more cotton, the Shiseido cotton. Broken record, I know, but this is the best stuff. Nothing compares, and I was out of it for so long, and I don't know why I kept forgetting to get it every time I've been in Sephora, but definitely needed that. The Sephora and King of Prussia had the full-size nest candle that I talked to you guys about in my last Sephora haul. This thing is heavenly, and I've been chomping at the, at the bit to burn it because last time I said I was going to just test it out, I ended up burning through the whole candle. This is fall in a, in a candle, fall in a candle. I love it so much. It's pumpkin, it's cinnamon, it's nutmeg. It's just really, really nice for this time of year to just fill your home and make it feel really cozy and warm. They just do candles and they do fragrance really well. I love their holiday candle too, I've said before. Um, I'm so excited to finally get another of this foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. I wanted to wear this for my wedding, but I didn't have a chance to get to the to Sephora to get me a replacement. It's, it's just so convenient, it being in a stick. I finally have my right shade. Well, I was 128 in the summer when I was a little bit darker, but my normal everyday shade is 127. And if you guys have not tried this foundation, you really, really need to. I never thought I would love a stick foundation as much as I do. The ease of it, the packaging, it's just all really good. And I was with my friend Jolie and my friends Jolie and Kristen and Kristen's not, like Kristen kind of just like takes whatever I tell her to buy at Sephora. Like she's not really that into makeup. She wears makeup but she's not like obsessing about it. Lee and I are like kind of obsessive about makeup so Kristen just kind of buys what I tell her. But she's been using and loving the CC cream from IT for so long since I raved about it to her probably two years ago. Jolie was in the market for a new foundation. I told her she needed to try this. We went in the Sephora um, makeup girl put it on her and I was like I wasn't surprised but her skin looked amazing. Kristen wasn't even there to buy foundation and when Jolie turned around Kristen said what is on your skin and whatever it is I need it. So there my friend Kristen who's a creature of habit and have been using the same foundation for the last two years bought a stick of this which is so funny to me because she's just not like a makeup girl like she's just not that into makeup but she just couldn't get over how amazing Jolie's skin looked and it sold her instantly and then another lady who we didn't even know she came over she saw the, the makeup artist putting it on Jolie and she's like what is that I need it it's just so good it lasts all day too that's why I wanted to wear it for my wedding and it's not that heavy I mean it's a full coverage and it's very easily buildable without looking cakey but it's a very lightweight foundation you don't really feel like you have a lot on and I just like it for day to day too. You can either take a brush and use it right from the tube. You can go right on your face with a beauty blender or a brush. I do find that this blends best with a brush, not a beauty blender. I think beauty blenders are great for liquid foundations. But for this, I love the Sephora Pro Brush. I'll link it in the description box next to this because that's, I think, the best one. But yeah, I love this foundation. I never, ever want to be without it. And then as I was just killing time as they were shopping, I went over to the fragrances and I was not in the market for another fragrance, but I had this new one out and this is by Atelier. So I just sprayed it on one of those like little strips and it was like intoxicating. I've never been so impulsive with a perfume before. I, at least I don't think where I like spray it, smell it, buy it. Usually I have to spray it on my skin because as, as you know a lot of times fumes smell completely different once they're mixed with your chemistry than when they smell like just on a strip of, of a piece of paper. But I bought this and then when I was watch, I was next to Jolie checking out, she had it too and we didn't even know we, we were each buying it. We just both really loved it. She bought hers to complement a Gucci one that she wore and I think it goes really well with the black with the amethyst from Elizabeth and James that I've been wearing. But it's such a unique smell. I think I said it, but it's Cafe Tubero Tuberoso. So it's tuberose, it's a little vanilla, and it does have like a slight coffee scent, which if you were to ever try to sell me a coffee scented fragrance, I would tell you you were crazy. 
but the way it mixes with whatever other notes are in this, it's it's so perfect and it's great for fall, but I don't think it's, you know, necessarily a fall fragrance, but it's so great for this time of year. Any like other dark woodsy perfumes like Tom Ford Black or Orchid or um, what's the other one by YSL? Black Opium, it would mix really well with that. Black from Elizabeth and James, but I love it. I bought it in a, in a little roller spray, roller ball one because I think a full-size bottle of this was like $150 and I just wanted to make sure I liked it on me as much before I buy the whole bottle, but I, I really do want to buy the whole bottle. And I don't know too much about this line of fragrances, but I do remember being in Neiman Marcus one time and somebody there was trying to sell me about the Atelier brand and all their fragrances and how unique and special and like all that goes into them. So I don't know, this is my first run with this brand, but it's amazing like the scent is ridiculous that is all that got at Sephora then I went to Lush because Addison is so into these bath bombs lately I think she's been seeing them on YouTube I thought it would be fun to just bring her back some bath bombs so we actually already used one and it we've used a couple of these but I got two of the monsters ball and I believe this was just for Halloween it's kind of like a creepy little monster looking guy this smells so good and I walked up to the Lush associate and I asked if they had anything else in the store that was exactly this because I would have bought all of it. A lot of times they do that, like they'll take a, a normal scent and they'll put it into like a seasonal looking product, but they didn't and I'm so bummed because this smells so good. Like I would want this in a bubble bar and in other bath bombs throughout the year, maybe even like in a body wash. Like it's, it's so good. It's citrusy, but it's not heavy citrus. I don't know, but if you can get to Lush or order these before they're not available and they're switching everything over to Christmas, Highly, highly recommend. I also got her this, she already used, oh no, yeah, this Snow Fairy soap. I love the Snow Fairy in a bottle, but I thought it'd be fun to get the solid bar. Has like a little um, gold tiara. So I got her that to wash with, and then I got her the little fidget spinner bubble bar, which is really cute. We already used this once, still looks like we haven't used it at all. It's okay, the smell. It's a good smell, but it's not like, I'm not crazy about it like the Monster Ball, but it did make a crap ton of bubbles in her bath. And, and then I had to take this out of my shower, so it's, it's all sudsy, but I had to get this soap for myself. This is pear something. It's a pear, Christmas pear. I don't know, but it smells really good. Makes a lot of bubbles, lathers really nicely. I've actually never had like a solid... I remember back in the day when Lush started getting trendy on YouTube, everyone had the Honey Eye Shrunk the Kids soap and the Rockstar soap and I was never into the solid soaps. I would always just in general prefer the bottle, the liquid, but I really, really have been enjoying that. It lathers and makes so many bubbles and suds and it smells heavenly. It like leaves the scent on your body afterwards. So that's everything from Lush. I haven't been in Lush in so long, but it's going to be fun. I think I'm going to do some Christmas shopping there for Addison this year. Then we were in Loft because Jolie and Kristen wanted to go in there to look at some stuff for clothes for work. And I need to stop. Someone needs to stop me because how many cardigans does a girl need? But truth be told, I wear one pretty much every day. So I love this one. I actually surprisingly don't have a cream colored cardigan. I don't have anything this like ivory. But this is really cozy. It was, the whole store was 50% off. I think it came down to like $37 or something crazy. It has these large cozy collars. It's open, there's no buttons or anything, no pockets either. But it has really pretty detail. It's just really, really soft. I know it'll go with everything and I know I will get a ton of use out of it. But really, I just need to stop. I need to cool it on buying cardigans because it's kind of getting insane. And then we went into Steve Madden, and I really wasn't seeing anything I liked. Then Jolie picked up a pair of black suede mules, and I hadn't seen them before, and I fell in love with them. And you guys might have seen on Instagram and in my haul, I got the Steve Madden blush velvet mules, and I really, really like them. But when I saw these, I thought that I would get so much more use out of them. It's just a simple black suede. I like that it kind of is cut out on the side. It's a little sexy on the foot. It's not like totally closed. And then the best part is the heel has these little pearls inside of them. You can actually touch the, touch the pearls. I thought they were like enclosed in a plastic originally. But it has a little bit of a heel, which I like. My other ones from there are more of a flat. But they're really nice, and I just figured because I wear leggings so much or jeans, like they're just a dressier, dress up sort of flat, 
as I said in my recent fashion haul, I did like a whole closet overhaul. I got rid of my Tory Burch flats. Well, I put them on my Poshmark account. Just, you know, flats that I've had forever and ever and ever that I just don't reach for anymore. I was really into for so long, but as you get older, your tastes just change. And so I wanted to replace some of those, like, and just have everyday flats. And I just thought these were a good... A good little replacement and they weren't very expensive under a hundred I think they were 79 89 under a hundred really pretty shoe black and pearls I remember Steve Madden had a set a pair of black mules in the Nordstrom anniversary sale but those pearls were like all over the top of the mule and it was just too much those are very understated and that's why I really like them I had no intention of buying sunglasses that day but again friends are like your worst influence we went into Solstice because Jolie was looking for a pair and the whole store was 25% off. And as you guys might know, sunglasses, designer sunglasses, rarely, rarely go on sale. So I just, you know, I just wanted to look because they were, they were on sale and I ended up with these Gucci sunglasses. They let you pick your own case. They had all different really pretty like jewel tone colors, emerald and purple and mustard. But I, of course, shocker, I went for burgundy. So the case is a burgundy suede. And they're a very classic frame, more square, very large. They do have a little bit of a cat eye and then a very simple little, the little gold emblem there. But what I really love about them is the arms are very thin and skinny and I don't have any other sunglasses like these. A lot of the ones that I have, especially the plastic frames that I have, are chunky and they feel heavy. Not that I don't like them, but they're just very different than these. Like my Karen Walkers are like that. Even some Chanel's that I have are just very chunky. And I like that these were very simple. I used to be so into the tortoise style sunglasses, but as I've gotten older, I just, I like the classic black. So, and these were actually not very expensive even before the sale. I think they were under 300, which I know is still expensive, but for a pair of designer sunglasses, I don't think that's terrible. So I'm really happy with these. That's pretty much everything I got at the mall that day. But I did want to share with you two other random things. People are either, whoa, the sun is coming out. People are either going to love these or hate these. So these are mules and these are by the new brand at Target, A New Day, and they're the faux Gucci mule loafers. Other people refer to these as fancy house shoes and if Jolie's watching this video, she's probably like palming her head because I remember when we went into Steve Madden, she was looking for mules and I said, oh my God, you're not going to get those ugly Gucci faux fur ones, are you? And she's like, and she said, I really like those. And I'm like, are you crazy? Well, these have been popping up all over Instagram. I never in a million years thought that I would ever be into a shoe like this. Truth be told, they're actually not the prettiest shoe. I think to some people, they think these are like so pretty. I don't. But everybody that I've ever talked to about these or the Gucci ones, they're like, just try them on. You just need to put them on your foot. So when I was in Target yesterday, I tried them on and I had to walk out with them. They were so comfortable. And actually, Marona had these but without the fur. And I actually liked them with the fur better. When I put them on, the ones without the fur, they looked very, like, too sophisticated for me. Like, just very very, they'd be nice for like an office job or like a, a business meeting or something like that. But I think when you add the fur to them, it just makes them more casual. I feel like a lot of people would disagree and say it makes them more dressy, but to me they feel more casual. And I wear leggings 99% of the time and these are the perfect little, little legging companion. I feel like they're really comfortable and they're good house shoes. They're really warm. <laughs> if you don't want to wear socks, like I don't like wearing socks and I obviously don't wear socks with flats, but I don't know. I just kind of like them and they were under $25, which is insane. I would never pay full price for the Gucci ones, even if I was crazy about them. Like I just, I don't know. I'm not crazy about designer shoes because shoes just get so beat up. But for $25 for a good pair of like slipper house shoes or everyday running errands in leggings house shoes, I think these are pretty good. And online they come in a blush like nude color as well, but I went with the black. I would encourage you guys to size up a half of a size. I'm usually an eight and a half. An eight and a half just fit me, but I think the fur just makes them a little bit smaller. So I went for a nine and these are perfect. I know, I'm such a sucker. They're just so comfortable. And my outfits every day are for most of the time for comfort, not for, not, not to be like fashionable. And so those kind of just fit in really well with that. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is my new cell phone case. I got the new iPhone 8, but uh, 8 plus, 
and I wanted to get some new cases and I saw this one on Casetify. It's like a little Chanel bottle and then it has the glitter as the fragrance, like sequins and gold glitter. It's really pretty and and I just really like it. It's very fancy. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it and questions about where people get this. If you don't like the whole perfume bottle feel, they also have just like the, the whole case that's glitter or they have where you can monogram a name, personalize it, monogram with glitter and they have different colors of glitter, but I like the white and gold and it's a really pretty little case. So I wanted to share that. That's everything for my little mall haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.